Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Christina and I am a mom of five kids, ages 18 months all the way up to 13 years old. In today's video, I'm taking you along with me while I reset my playroom. I get a lot of questions about how I do my playroom resets, how I decide on things and all of that, where I store things. I did do a playroom tour and organization video last week and I let you guys know in that video that the next time that I do a playroom reset that I would share it with you guys. So I do this typically every two weeks, sometimes a little sooner, sometimes I don't get to it at that two week mark, but typically every two weeks. So what I do when I do a playroom reset is I rotate out all of the books on our bookshelves in here. We just have the forward facing Montessori bookshelves so I don't put a ton of books out. Same thing for the learning shelf which is where I put the toys out that I rotate every time I do a playroom reset. And then I have our wooden play gym which includes a climbing arch, slide slash rock climbing wall, a pickler triangle and a wobble board and then we also have a nugget comfort couch in here which we reconfigure in all different ways i did not do anything to this playroom before showing you like the before so it is just a little messy just kind of how the kids left it last they pick it up a little bit here and there but i didn't worry too much about it because i knew i would be doing this playroom reset and i was not about to pre-clean it i wanted to show you what it actually looks like so first thing I will do is I will like take books down, put learning shelf toys away. I will take everything out of here, clean, wash the floor, vacuum the rug, all of those good things. And then I will start to set up. I will tell you that what I plan to do as the theme, sometimes I have a theme, whether it be oceans like we've done, we did camping, nature themed. In the springtime, we did butterflies during butterfly week in Exploring Nature with Children. So sometimes I will go by the week that it is in Exploring Nature with Children, which is a year long nature study curriculum. In case you're not familiar with that, I've linked it down below, along with some of my other favorite things that we use and do. So this particular week, I am resetting with all feelings and social emotional learning books. If you missed that book haul where I give flip throughs and explanations of each book, you can check that out. I'll link that down below. And that is what we are focusing on as we roll into the new school year is feelings and social emotional learning. So I'll also try to incorporate that as much as possible on the learning shelf. So not always do the books and the things on the learning shelf tie into a theme, but often they do. So. That is the plan. I am just going to get started cleaning up this room. As I mentioned before, I get everything out of the room. I pick up all of the toys and things from the last setup that I had. In this particular case, I did a learning shelf that had kind of like a numbers theme. And so that was for my little guy who's almost three who's working on learning his numbers. And then the books on the shelves kind of developed into a mix of like ocean themed, outdoors, nature, that kind of thing. Finally got my friends in the back of my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in the Stay in the moon Stay in the moon with me Give you a moment to Give you a moment with me Spend all the roses Spend all the roses with me Okay, as you can see, I pretty much have a clean slate. So I took all of the toys, all of the books out, the wooden play gym, the rug, the nugget, it's even echoing in here. Um, and I swept and steam mopped. I cleaned our chalk wall. Sometimes I'll do it more than once. It looks like I could probably use one more, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. I pulled out my library books that I wanna set up here. Some Amazon books that I just slipped in there. So I will be setting those up next. And then I usually, when I take down my books, I make two stacks. I make one of library books and I make one of books that we own. You can see this art table definitely gets used a lot. So the ones that we own, I put out in the hallway and then these I just haven't gotten a chance to. And typically what I'll do with the library books 
is I'll do like a last call where I'll tell the kids like this is last call for these. If there's any that you want to read, let me know. Otherwise, they'll be going back to the library because we have a ton of library books out right now. So these are the ones that we head out that I will be returning unless there is one they want to read. So I'm going to kind of lay these out on the floor so I can figure out like what can fit here and what I want to put out. so now that the books are up i'm gonna start setting things back up in here i've put the rug back down i've brought the nugget in and now I'm cleaning off all the toys that were on the learning shelf and putting them away either in the closet or up in the baskets up top, depending on which items go where. I cleaned up the art station just a little bit, and now I am just starting to reconfigure things a bit. So I put the learning shelf against the chalkboard wall for today, um, or at least until the kids decide to move things around or until my next playroom reset. I drive myself a little bit crazy deciding where I want to put things and sometimes I'll set it up and then change my mind and then it doesn't really matter that much anyways because the kids will move things around and reconfigure them the way they want which I don't mind at all. I like for them to be able to play and be creative and make the space their own. So I chose the color monster to be kind of like the focus book for the shelf and sometimes I'll leave that for just a few days or I'll leave it for a week and then switch it up a little bit. But I at least try to match up some of the toys with the book like in this case I'll be focusing on colors as well as the feelings. Okay, so I thought I was filming me setting that up, but I wasn't. So I'll just show you really quickly what I have on the learning shelf. I have the color monster book. I have the color snake puzzle. It also has the Spanish words underneath. I brought the rainbow back out just because I felt like it didn't look like enough out here. And there are colors, so it's also a way for my three-year-old or my almost three-year-old to continue learning his colors but also make the connections about the emotions on the book and the colors that they represent and then down here these are little wooden figures that I've had for a while I haven't pulled them out in a while and I actually forgot I had them and I even forgot to share them in my playroom tour because they were like underneath everything in one of those baskets up on that shelf so I wanted to purchase the ones that have the faces on them with different emotions and like the name of the emotion down the side but I was trying to be like responsible and not spend too much money so I'm thinking about maybe putting the faces on these but I don't know because I just love how simple and artistic these are and so I'm not sure just yet I'll have to decide as committed as I am to not having too much stuff I saw these wooden houses in the Target dollar spot. They were $3 each for the bigger ones, and then that pack of three was $3. So I just could not pass these up because I felt like I could do a little um, scene like this where they could play like it's a little town and just another way to talk about social emotional learning and feelings by using these little figures and this little town in order to kind of like talk through and maybe even like role play through like different experiences and feelings and stuff like that. So I do think the faces and the names of the emotions would be helpful, but I'm just not sure because these are so beautiful that I want to write on them. So I'm undecided on that. I will let you guys know if that's something I decide to do. So that is how I have the learning shelf set up so far. Um, I just cleaned up the art station. I have the nugget like this for right now. Gia's eating popcorn. I think I might put the wobble board off of the top as like a little bit of a slide. 
I still need to put the wooden play gym back in here. So I was gonna wait till the end to show you that, but I will just go through how I set up the books here. So I did all of the, what do you do with blank books by Kobe Amada on this shelf. And then maybe and trying also by Kobe Amada on this shelf here. Down below, these are books that I grabbed from Marshall's. These are really sweet books about like kindness and sort of like, no matter what you do, I'll always love you. That one's about spending time together and kind of cherishing those relationships. All right, Gigi's grabbing the bad seed because she wants to read it, go for it. Yep. So up here I have the bad seed, the good egg, and then Frank and Bean because all those are kind of like comical takes on um, feelings and interpersonal relationships. On this shelf, I have the worry box and then I have the way I feel series. We grab the worried sad and angry and then down here I have the board book version of when I feel scared and then I also have quiet loud for our little guy who is pretty loud so that's what I have for books Jackson <laughs> made popcorn for these guys keeping themselves busy while I clean things up so I want you guys to take that out of here though because I just cleaned the room okay Can so you, you can put it out there okay. thank you all right so take the popcorn out of here Deej because I just cleaned up and we don't have food in here Gia loves the camera, my goodness. Okay. We gonna make it beaches, stay in the stay in the moon. Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moon Stay in the moon with me Give you a moment Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses Okay, you guys, so this is what I settled on for right now. I did change up the nugget. I like to get creative with it, but sometimes I like for it to just be um, simple and then let them sort of play around with it. I was gonna try to do something more creative for the sake of the video, but I just wanted to um, use the wobble board as a slide and typically that only works if I put it on the nugget. Um, and then I wanted to do that because the little guys love slides and I'm not currently using the slide as a slide. I'm using it as sort of a balance beam so to speak, for them to walk across that way. And so I decided to put that down like that so it wasn't too high for my 18 month old. So she wasn't like flopping super hard onto the ground. So I did not end up writing on the figures. I may end up changing my mind on that. And if I do before I end up uploading this video, I'll either add that in or I'll share it in like a reel or something over on Instagram. So yeah, that is it. The only other change that I made was the nugget and the wobble board, but obviously it won't stay like this. They will switch it around. They will turn it into a slide and a rock wall and the nugget will probably get moved around. So I don't like make them keep it the way I put it. I just like to switch it up when I reset it to kind of get them to think outside the box a little bit more or see something that they didn't see before. And then they have done the same for me when they play with it. So it's pretty cool. So that is it. There's our little sunflower out there that finally bloomed. We actually grew that inside. It's a super rainy day. So one of those days I'm super thankful for our playroom. I'm gonna let them go ahead and play in here if they want to. The youngest two are out with my husband. I did not do anything either on this board yet. Sometimes I do and sometimes I just leave it blank for them. I may end up doing something feelings related. I was thinking of doing like a matching maybe on there, or even just labeled faces. So as of right now, I am done for today. I'm kind of tired, but I may end up doing it throughout the week. So if I do, I will share that with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed following along as I reset the playroom. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click that red subscribe button. If you are not already subscribed, if you are new here, 
Introduce yourself in the comments below. I love to get to know you guys and I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. Until next time, stay rooted.